Neptune. Planet of the Mystic Forces. Part 2. This collection of Edgar Cayce readings is presented in three parts. Mystic versus Occult versus Psychic. Neptune. Mystic. Neptune and Uranus. 1. Mystic versus Occult versus Psychic. Mystic is as the spirit or the activity, while the psychic is the soul, the occult is the mind. No greater psychic lived than Jesus of Nazareth. Psychic is of the soul, the abilities to reason by the faculties or by the mind of the soul. And when this is done, enter into the inner self, opening self through the ideals of the meditation, and surrounding self with the consciousness of the Christ that he may guide. Know self if you would know the occult. What is the highest possible psychic realization? That God, the Father, speaks directly to the sons of men. What is the difference between psychic forces and occult forces? One, psychic, is the essence, or soul of the sources, and the other, occult, the channels or personal application, through which, of which, the study. Explain the difference between occult and mystic forces. Occult, rather those that are of the ability of personal application. While the mysterious, or mystic, the necessity of certain activities or feelings of the soul to be aroused before there may be expression. Occult forces are the personal application of unseen or unfelt laws to the physical or material life. There is a pattern in the material for all things in the spiritual realm. 2. Neptune Mystic In that of Neptune as of Mystic In Neptune we will find the interest in the unusual or the mystical. Coming under the influence of Neptune then, as we find, makes for the mystic forces in the experience of the entity. Neptune, from this sojourn we find influences pertaining to things of the mystical nature. In Neptune we find the mystical influences become a deeper portion of the inner consciousness of the entity. Neptune brings the associations with those who have to do with water signs or water activities. This is also the mystic influence, and the intuitive force that arises in the varied experiences of this entity. In Neptune we find the interest in the mystical, or the mystical spiritual things in the affairs of individuals, as well as water becoming a part of the experiences of the entity, and these for help as well as for woe have been in the experience. In Neptune we find the interest in those things of a mystical nature, those things that are of art and of water. Those things that take hold upon conditions which partake of that which does not seem to be material. The environment from the Neptune experiences makes for the activities and associations dealing with things of a mystic or unseen nature that are innate expressions of the mysterious activities. Though there are the influences of Neptune as to the mystic activities, we find that these rather will bring water, and accidents as related to same, unless there are the precautions respecting same. 1. That the influence in Neptune has brought, and brings, much of the mystic and the understandable things of symbols, signs, days, years, numbers. In Neptune we see something again of the methodical life, in a mystic manner. Be not too mindful of mysticism, unless weighed well with those influences in love and nobleness. In Neptune the adverse influences from the water signs and from water. Yet the inclinations for those activities as related to the mystic forces become a part of the experience. Neptune making for those of the mystic especially influencing this entity in the respect that those forces as come from that as may be termed odors, incenses, or such, will influence the entity in an unusual way and manner. We find Neptune as the greater influence. 
hence the intuitive forces, the mystic influences and the experiences of the entity. Thus things that are of the mystic or mysterious nature ever become a part of the entity's expression and manifestation in one form or another. In Neptune we find those things of the mystic nature or the mysterious. Hence we find those things that pertain to amulets, charms, or those things that deal with the influence that arises from the environs of certain kinds of music, all become a portion of the entity's experience. 3. Neptune, Mystic and Uranus, Occult In Neptune we find the mystical, while in Uranus the extremes and the occult. From Uranus and Neptune we find the delving into mysteries. All forms of psychic influence are of special interest to the entity. Neptune and Uranus both coming within the entity's experience through the sojourns there, those things that pertain to the mysterious, the mystic forces or occult sciences, are ever of interest. We find Mercury as the high-minded influence. Yet from the Uranian and Neptune the interest in the occult as well as in the mystical. In the entering, we find in both Neptune and Uranus coming those particular interests as may be found, not only in mystery and in occult forces, but in that a special application of same. The influences as are seen, both in Uranus and in Neptune, make for the love of mystery and the occult, and symbolism is much in the innate influences of the entity. As to the Neptune influence, pertaining to water and the mystic, as well as the Uranian, the occult, we find that the type of writing, the types of creative influence and the mental forces are influenced by same. One who is given with many mental abilities. One who with appearances keeps the ennobling influence of religious thought paramount in secular action. Yet weighted with those mystic forces as are found in Neptune and in the occult forces in Uranus. Also the entity's sojourn in Uranus and Neptune makes for its interests in those things of the mystic occult natures that deal rather with the initiate and the influences that prompt from the baser, as well as the spiritual and the higher influences in the activities of entities, of individuals, of the greater masses. And these as arise from the Uranian influence bring the associations of the occult, as well as the mystical, from the Uranian and the activities from the Neptune sojourn. For the influences from Venus as well as the sensitive forces from the mystical Neptune, and the occult from the Uranian and the extremes, become a part of the entity's activities. From Uranus and Neptune we find those influences having to do with the unusual, or the mystical, and the occult and mystical also become a part of the entity's activity. Do not confuse the two. For, in the occult it may be in the extremes, while in the mystical will become more of that having to do, when materialized, with things pertaining to symbols or signs, or both symbols and signs, and things over water or upon water as a part of the experience. 